Don't reinvent the wheel and use TRIZ to quick start your innovations. Jemmerts Alsholter was a Russian engineer and patent investigator. He decided that you could come up with improvement ideas in a contradiction environment based on how people solve their problems in 40,000 patents. It's common that problems are hard because there are trade-offs. You may want to shoot a heavier rocket into space or lighten the weight of a car. How about if you have a rail gun and you want to increase its range? All of these challenges are something that may have been solved before. Even if it is a brand new problem, TRIZ can supercharge your brainstorming. TRIZ gives you 39 parameters to play off against each other, but to simplify this presentation, I will use an example of two parameters that are in a contradiction. A contradiction in terms of problem solving is, as one parameter is improved, another parameter worsens. TRIZ gives guidance on how to solve this problem. TRIZ is not only used with technical problems, it can be used for complicated management problems. For instance, it could be used to reduce costs in an accounting department. TRIZ is a Russian acronym for the Theory of Inventive Problem Solving. Don't reinvent the wheel. Use this innovation tool to solve your problems. It's based on 40,000 inventions, which led to 39 features or parameters. The contradictions in these parameters was solved by identifying 40 inventive principles. The process is relatively straightforward. Identify the problem or challenge, identify the contradiction or parameter that worsens as you try to improve your challenge, and finally consult the TRIZ matrix for the inventive principles that guided previous inventors to solve the same problem. TRIZ should be used as a brainstorming tool to stimulate thoughts on how to improve a product or service. Let's look at a simple example that reviews the case when one parameter improves while another parameter worsens. TRIZ contains a list of 39 generalized parameters that are listed in the horizontal and vertical axes. To the right of the vertical axis is a blow-up of five parameters. This example focuses on the first parameter, weight of a moving object. The contradicting parameter, which is blown up on the horizontal axis, is volume of moving object. This is how the contradictions could play out. You may want to increase the weight and not increase the volume, or you may want to keep the weight the same and decrease the volume. Let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say you are attempting to build a football helmet designed to minimize concussions. You have a design in mind, but the contradiction is that the new design will increase the helmet size. Another example could be that you want a missile to fire a greater distance, but it must fit into an existing launcher. Some examples of other parameters include shape, temperature, ease of repair, productivity, and loss of information. It seems that if you analyze 40,000 inventions, there will be a whole lot of different parameters. In the matrix, look at the intersection of the two selected parameters to find the list of inventive principles. In this example, the list is 29, 2, 40, 28. Let's take a look at those next. First, we define the constraint, which in this example was increasing the weight of an object while maintaining a constant volume. This is defined as a contradiction in terms of problem solving. When one parameter is improved, another parameter worsens. Now we will investigate the four inventive principles that Jenrich Altheiler determined applied to this contradiction problem. Principle two, taking out. This means to separate an interfering part or property from an object or single out only the necessary part. For example, this could mean substituting materials or offboarding components. Another example would be to move an air compressor outside the building you're painting in. Principle 28, mechanic substitution. This principle has four categories. The first subcategory A is replacing mechanical means with sensory means. An example could be to add odor to a gas as opposed to purchase a gas sensor. Another example might be to replace a mechanical spring with an electrical spring. Subcategory B, use electric, magnetic, and electromagnetic fields to interact with the object. This could be used to mitigate the weight of a moving object. You don't actually decrease the weight, but you decrease the effective weight. Category C, change from static to movable fields. An example could be to use a movable field to levitate the moving object. In the last category, D suggests using fields in conjunction with field-activated particles. This might mean using magnets. Principle 29, pneumatics and hydraulics. This principle suggests substituting gas and liquid parts of an object for solid parts. An example might be replacing a solid heavy I-beam with a lighter I-beam containing holes. Another example could be the Toyota Prius has the capability of recovering energy used in braking power to power the car, thus requiring less batteries. The fourth principle is principle 40, composite materials. This simply means exploring alternate materials that can minimize volume or weight like composites, plastics, etc. Kick off your brainstorming sessions with ideas from Triz. It will populate your mind with ideas. 
Innovation can be used at all levels of an organization. Don't get bogged down by contradictions. Triz will get you past those challenges. The very best companies will either focus on operational excellence, customer intimacy, or innovation. Lean Six Sigma creates operational excellence, and Triz supports your innovation efforts. I am Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt, an expert on the Toyota production system, along with innovation. Start your innovation projects today using Triz. This last slide directs you to my website on how you can build your Toyota production system. Please subscribe.